Did you know that Abraham Lincoln was a wrestler or that he almost traveled with the Donner Party? Here are some strange facts about Abraham Lincoln, the United States 16th president. When you think of famous inventors, Abraham Lincoln might not spring to mind, but he is the only U.S. president with a patent in his name. Issued on May 22, 1849, the patent was influenced by his time boating along the rivers of the Midwest. Known officially as buoying vessels over shoals, it involved a system of waterproof fabric bladders that were inflated to ease a stuck ship over obstacles. He was inspired to make this invention when a riverboat he was on became stuck on a sandbar. Despite his genius, he also had it pretty rough. In fact, Lincoln also suffered from severe mental illness. He was diagnosed with melancholy, which may be what we know today as depression. His depressive episodes were influenced by major events such as the death of Aunt Rutledge in 1835 and the cessation of his engagement to Mary Todd Lincoln in 1841. His law partner even stated his melancholy dripped as he walked. In 1841, friends had to remove dangerous items from his room due to fears that he could come to harm. However, he used these experiences to rise above his mental illness and become an inspiring leader. Abraham Lincoln wasn't only a president, but a famous catch wrestler. Catch wrestling, also known as catch as catch can, is a style of wrestling involving grappling and combat. Its closest modern equivalents are freestyle wrestling and submission grappling. Lincoln was so great at catch wrestling that he only has one recorded defeat. His opponent was Private Lorenzo Doe Thompson, and the loss occurred on April 22, 1832. The match was aside which man's company would have the best camping spot in Beardstown, Illinois. Lincoln's wrestling accomplishments were so admired that he was inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame in 1992. According to one contemporary, Abraham Lincoln was an ugly man. This man approached Lincoln and handed him a knife. He claimed that he had to give it to Lincoln because Lincoln was uglier than himself. This was a common prank in those days, but Lincoln recounted the story and accepted the knife with good humor. Today, the knife is said to belong to an antique collector named George Morris. Finally, let's discuss Lincoln's involvement with U.S. history's most famous group of cannibals, the Donner Party. In 1846, the Donner Reed Party set off for California. Stranded in the Sierra Nevada due to mishaps, they ate the remains of the deceased to survive the winter. Only 48 of the original 87 survived. Lincoln almost joined this party. He was friends with principal member of the Donner Reed Party, James Reed. However, his wife talked him out of it and he decided not to join the caravan headed west. In fact, his signature was among the party's belongings. It's chilling to think what could have happened if Lincoln joined them. Would he have survived? And if he did, would he have resorted to the same behaviors? This is the end of some fascinating Abraham Lincoln facts. Which was your favorite? What are your thoughts? Please comment below. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching Fast Facts in History, your source for bite-sized tidbits of historical information. Until next time.